the Comfort Havoc number two Instagram. Look, I promised you guys that I was going to do some bound fighting. So for the next 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to do bound fighting. So you will see that. I will also do weapons demonstration with your hands bound. Now, small disclaimer, I will not be doing weapons demonstrations with your hands bound back here. I'm starting back here just to show you for a fact that it can be done. And for the sake of all argument and all that is holy, I highly recommend that you do not attempt this shit. Alright? Now, if you're going to make a movie, this is fine. In real life, I highly recommend that you do not try to fight somebody with your hands tied behind your back. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is not an American ass joke. Alright. So, I've been doing this shit since I was between the ages of... Uh, Let's just start with 7 and till 47. But somewhere in between 7 and 47, I learned how to fight with my hands tied behind my back. So we're going to keep this shit simple. We're going to keep this shit lively. I can't wave at you at this moment. I apologize. But um, I've done this on YouTube. I'm doing it on YouTube again. I'm doing it on Instagram Live, so I can't screw this up. So rule number one in fighting with your hands behind your back. A good run. It's better than a bad stand. So first and foremost, you need to learn how to evade an attack when your hands are behind you, when they are tied behind you. So sidestep and a knee, sidestep and a knee. Those can work, but the reality is, if your hands are tied behind your back, you're pretty much the victim of some serious shit. Guys running at you, boom, front kick. Guys running at you, boom. You know, you got those options right there. You got your double side. All right. You got your spinning back kick. Hopefully I will not fall and wind up going to the hospital. You, you see your limitations when your hands are tied behind you. You got your outside to inside crescent kick. You have your inside to outside crescent kick. So... Both feet. You understand? You are very limited with your hands tied behind your back. All right, now let's party. Now, if you're gonna make a movie, this works fine. You're gonna make a movie. So I do some hands, so you guys can see my hands are tied. Uh, I had handcuffs, but I don't have them now. Let me try and get this bitch to where it's bound tightly. Alright, so you guys can see. There's my wave. There's my wave. Alright, so my hands are tied. Alright, so this is a hell of a lot easier to fight. Alright, this one you actually can do. Specifically for movies... Wouldn't recommend trying it in real life. Not that I have not done that because I did train like this. So, one, know your range of motion, your arm distance. Know that your legs can be used as blocks. So, if you take tie fighting, you know about this block, and you know about this block. Now, you gotta learn how to throw a punch with your hair side. So, boom, seems correct. Boom, seems correct. But you're going to have to know what to do with the other hand. So, if you clasp them, boom, boom. It's a good idea, except for there's some bad shit that can go wrong. Because your hands are exceptionally easy to break. Your hands are probably the easiest bones in your body to actually break. Because your hand is more than one bone. Your metacarpals are anywhere between 100 to 200 of these damn things. I could be wrong, I'm not a doctor, but I know these motherfuckers can be broken very easily. So... Let's not worry about punching as much as blocking. So I got those a punch, boom. Got those a punch, boom. If you know your basic standard blocks, you know, then you can block all day. Boom, boom. Now, your block and counter. Boom, boom. There's a knee. Boom, boom. There's a knee. Boom, elbow. Boom, elbow. Those are things that are sensible. So now we go to things that are not sensible, not practical at all. Understand? Boom. 
Guys running at you. Boom. Now, if you can get the opponent this way and you can get your head around his, you know, get your hands over him, now you can choke him with your bindings. So that is highly feasible. I also did that shit in the movie with Jay Diz called Dragon's Breath. Somewhere on my YouTube channel, I think. I'm not going to swear to it. I think I put a clip up there. I'm not going to swear to that either. But anyway, you can do that. It's just a matter of having the ability to do it. Now, in real life, I'm going to tell you right now, don't do this shit. <laughs> Let's keep it real. You time somebody else's speed. You don't know how fast someone is until the fight starts. So, uh, good luck. I mean, if you're making a movie, if you're fighting in real life, this takes work. It takes practice. And, you know, boom, 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 boom. You know, you got to learn how to do that. Now, if you're bound like this, that's still not tight enough, where you actually have some leeway, you know, See that? You have leeway. Now you got something you can work with. You know? <laughs> so anyway, if, if your hands are about far enough apart, see? You have leeway. So, so your blocks will be more effective the further your hands are bound. Boom, boom. Yeah, you got your blocks. Boom, boom. Now, that's where the problem lies, where you have to go a low block plus a high block. So there's a problem there. So my best bet is to tell you, high block, low block with your lower extremities. Because you can block with this knee, and you can bat it away. Boom. Now you can strike. Boom. Pull them into the knee. That would be Kung Fu for those who didn't notice. Now for karate, boom, boom. Using the one furthest away, brings more power, which is that small difference between karate and kung fu, which a lot of people don't know how small the difference between karate and kung fu actually is. So, I gotta move to weapons now. So, let's hope that I don't fuck myself up. So this is a hockey stick. You have to learn how to work both of your hands just so that you guys can see my hands are still tied together. You know. This ain't as easy as it looks. And now you see why that happened. Years of practice, people. And now you see how difficult that is? Now you also see why good for movies, not so good for real life. Now this hockey stick represents the pike. You can also use the majestic spear. It's pretty much the same damn form. Same thing with this monkey stick. This is not a monkey stick though. This is like a mini monkey stick. So here, 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 and it still works if your hands are tied. Just so that you can see my hands are still tied. So, in doing so, boom, 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 boom. You don't have a lot of range at which you can switch, but you can get the range by mustering down the stick. Final weapon. Now this is the clusterfuck waiting to happen. <laughs> so, fighting with this chain with your hand side. See how well that worked against me. Now you see why it works in the movies, but not so much in real life. And yes, my hands are still tied.
That got snagged on the ponytail. So you want to keep it simple if your hands are actually tied. You know, wrap it once. Just keep this nice as a ten. You're swinging a chain. If anybody can get past your chain, you deserve to get hit. All right. Couldn't stop it. My hands are tied. Now, there's a big difference in fighting like this without weapons and then having them this close. This close means no range at all. And so no range at all means my left hand and my right hand are one hand. Guy coming at my left, boom. Guy coming at my right, boom. Now, those were specific blocks for the upper body. Lower body, boom, boom. Have to add some tie fighting in, boom, boom. All right, you have to add and adapt when you're fighting with your hands tied. So you gotta keep that shit simple. None of this, and none of this. Probably totally gonna send you to the hospital. So you keep it simple. Boom, there. There, 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 block, 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 knee, strike, there. Probably don't want to do that last one. But you know, you should probably stop there. When you get here, you don't have to re-chamber Taekwondo style, just launch that bitch back out. So, boom, understand. These are the things you can do. Boom. Now from here, bring it back. Now if you want to bring it around, you know, it's a good chance that the person you're fighting will duck, hit crotch, fight's over for you. So, want to bring it there, step back, there, versus boom, Boom, boom. The last part you're not gonna do. But nine times out of 10, if you do this, that should be enough. If it's not enough, stay with simple. Boom, front kick, side kick, revert back, front kick, side kick, block, block. It's getting cold as fuck outside. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed some of what I was trying to show you. But I kept my word. I did do my hands bound for Instagram. There's more of these on my YouTube channel of Comfort Having Number 2. Just go find them. And don't look at none of my political shit. Thanks for watching. Comfort Having Number 2, BCNU, Instagram. Enjoy your day.